And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Lee Dixon. And we're just moments away from kickoff. It is Anderlecht up against Manchester United. Well, night games, European football, where does it get any better? Well, it does if you're in the final. But with finals, they're horrible if you lose. Make sure you win if you get here. This is how the starting lineup looks today. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Murillo. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Lucas Mecha. Lokonga. Rebel. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. It might be on for them. Can they find a gap in the defence? Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, the more you give this lad the ball, the better the team normally plays. He switches the ball. Can he put them in front? And a goal! The first of the contest. Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started for the beauty of a through ball. And he composes himself, coolly slides it past a lonely keeper, who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. Well, he can't let the frustrations get the better in, Derek. His players need help here. Underway once more. Manchester United have hit the front. Majid Ashimeru. Michael Murillo. Trebel. Kobo. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Determined defending. Scott McTominay. A room to roam on the wing. Bruno Fernandes. McTominay. Here's Sancho. Terrific block there. Not getting the ball forward. Rebel. Mecha. Rebel. Can they square the game? Oh, can you believe this? Just when it looked as though the door was locked, it's been reopened. Well, they're back in it, and you can hear the relief with their fans. Game on. Well, here we see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then through on goal. You never really had any doubt he was going to slot that away. Good finish.
Well, you can see how happy the manager is. They've shown real grit to get back into this. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Bruno Fernandes. Pogba. Paul Pogba. Bruno Fernandes. It's with McTominay. Lokonga, Matt Miazga. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Bruno Fernandes and Rashford. Cavani. Bruno Fernandes did well to win the ball back crossing possibilities Rebel plays it back and he did his job defensively and the counter looks on here options available Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Edinson Cavani now. That is that for the first half here. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Paul Pogba. Harry Maguire now. Scott McTominay. Murillo how can he take them on and beat them Mecha precise ball movement oh lovely weighted ball they might be in it looks promising takes aim and a strong glove on the ball from the keeper Maguire Scott McTominay Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Rashford. Shaw. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. An example of how to press. Playing with purpose and control. Michael Murillo. It might be on for them. A very timely interception. And a tidy ball. Real danger. Well, no way through. Shaw. Pogba has it. So, 20 minutes to go. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. It's with McTominay. Rafael Varane. 
Jadon Sancho. Giving the ball away. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Andrea Trebel. Ashimeru. Super tackle, and they've won possession. Well, great read there to intercept. And the cross is very much on. Trebel. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Fred with it. Five minutes of the 90 still to go. And the teams cannot be separated. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, still level here, but Manchester United making a push near the end. Bruno Fernandes must take the lead here. It's gone in, and surely now it's one hand on the trophy. Well, there's not long left for a response now. Is there anything left in the tank? Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with the beauty of a through ball, and he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish, too. So they're playing again. It's Manchester United with the lead here. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Kobo. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. And my goodness, Lee, they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. They were running the clock down at the end. The referee obliged and blew his whistle, and quite rightly so. They're now on the halfway line celebrating with all their teammates. I'm pretty sure all the subs, etc., will come running on as well. A great, great night for this football club. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. Happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, all those months of hard training sessions, pre-season training, you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions. And they'll be looking forward at moments like this. They've finally got their hands on this fantastic, magnificent trophy. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Long celebrations into the night, I'm pretty sure, Derek. It's going to go on and on. Yeah, I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible. One more trophy left, why not? Yeah.